So some time ago there was an announcement made by the Minister that there would be a significant expansion to the Capricornia Correctional Centre. We will be receiving a considerable amount of prisoner accommodation, so we'll be almost doubling in our prisoner accommodation size. With that we're looking to expand our staffing establishment by approximately 232 staff. And what that will include is custodial officers, we're looking for trade instructors, we're looking for psychologists, counsellors, administration staff. So there's a, there's a whole gambit of people that we will be hoping to recruit in that next 12 to 18 month period. One of the questions I often get asked is, what does it take to be a correctional officer? And what does it take to actually come and work inside a correctional facility? And what I would say to you is that the best type of people that we can have working here is people that have some general life skills good communication skills and good life skills. So we have a wide range of people with um, a huge level of experience in various fields. Um, I've come from a construction background. I've done a lot of civil mining work. Number one reason I come across, I think, was structure, flexibility, being able to move shifts around. Yeah, for me, I'm home every night. I've, I've got a young son. Yeah, I used to work mines where you, you're away half the time. And my son got a one-year-old and he, I'd seen him for six months of his life, so at least with QCS I'm home every night, I get to cuddle and read him books and things like that. Oh, I really like within the centre the um, opportunities within training that's offered, the progressional model, and that is probably one of the biggest things for me is the opportunities that are given. If you want them, they are there. Certainly Queensland Corrective Services, we're actively looking for people who want to take the next step through to, from correctional officer to supervisor to manager. There's a huge range of opportunities for further personal development through training, acting in higher duties and similarly within our other streams of employment, there's huge opportunities for personal growth development and potential to move up into other roles. The role of custodial correctional officer, there's no prerequisites. You don't need to have a degree, you don't need to have any formal qualifications. If you do have qualifications in a certain area, that may assist you in performing different roles within the facility, but it's more around the cross-transferable skills that you can bring to the role. We're looking for people who have strong communication skills that can follow direction. We're also looking for people that can use their own initiative, take leadership in, in certain examples. The dynamics and the diversity that we have employed here in relation to staff is second to none. We just so many different backgrounds of people and um, come from different areas and different trades and educations. I myself have been in aviation, I've come through defence and then I've moved in through to mining and then into the railway and now I'm into light fabrication so there's no set path to follow but there's always career progression here. There's a lot to offer around Rockhampton and Capricornia. We have the beach only 30 minutes away from Rockhampton, so you can travel down on the weekend to have a bit of a time out and have your own relaxing walk on the beach with your family. Opportunities for employment for family members is really good. We've got one of the largest Q Health um, bases here as well. Even local government jobs that aren't available everywhere else across the state, it's a very good hub. The jail itself is only a five minute community out of the centre of town. Again, that's another big draw card for everybody, so you're not travelling, commuting big distances every day. I think that's why Rockhampton is a good place to stay and live. I actually joined Queensland Corrective Services as a Deputy General Manager, but my corrections career started many, many years ago. The reason that I joined was because I believe you can change people's lives and help people to change their own lives. It sounds like a cliche, but that's what we do and that's what we're here for. So it takes a whole range of skills to support the needs of prisoners and, and that's what we're looking for.